Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark, where we do our best to help spouses in crisis. That's what we do. If you have a marital crisis, I've got a specific plan for that crisis. After 35 years, I've got a plan for everything. You name the crisis, I got a plan for it. Now go to my website, davideclarkphd.com for all my resources for marriages in crisis. That's David E. Clark, Clark with an E. Uh, my books are there. My podcasts are there. Uh, Ask Dr. Clark videos, which this is one of those, uh, are there. My phone advice service. Now, before today's topic, which is the top three reasons to leave your abusive spouse, I ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tap the like button. A review, a comment, a rating, all those things help us grow our audience. Help us help more people. Now, I got an email recently uh, from a YouTube subscriber. She was married to an abusive husband. They're separated now, which is good. She read my book, Enough is Enough, How to Leave an Abusive Relationship, this book right here. All right, this is for if you're in an abusive relationship. And she left her husband. All right, that's step one. We'll see how the process goes. He has a chance, of course, to make his change. And we'll see. It's not looking positive. But anyway, her email is powerful and uplifting, so I'm going to read part of it to you. And the best part is her three reasons for leaving her abuser. I thought these were right on. I want every abused spouse, wife or husband, to hear her reasons for leaving. So here's what she says. And of course, I'll, I'll sprinkle my comments in as I always do. I can't help myself. Dr. Clark. Clark spelled with an E correctly, which is a good start. Although this has been the most challenging and in some ways emotional and sad month of my life, I wanted you to know that I have found so much comfort in this season. I am breathing for the first time in a long time. When you leave your abuser, it's a massive relief, and frankly, it should be. He's not feeling afraid, he says, put down, confused, demeaned, scared. That's how abusive people live. Abused people live. I didn't think I would be able to follow through with your steps. Uh, I felt weak and afraid of what the future may be. Boy, you know, leaving is incredibly hard. It is. That's why I wrote the book, to give you a clear plan. Still hard, but doable. She says, I was afraid of people's opinions and even of exposing her husband's sin. Probably because, and here's an insight, I have been covering up his sin and pretending with him for so long you get used to doing it. I finally had the courage to say enough is enough. Here's her first reason. I did it, leaving my abusive husband, I did it for the kids. Because, and many moms, of course, feel this way. Kids, number one. Because my parents were starting to see the way the abuse was affecting them. And she's got three kids under five years old. Staying with an abusive spouse damages your kids. Here are my comments. Damages your kids. Don't think that staying is better for your kids. It's not. Their security is damaged if you stay. Their self-esteem is damaged if you stay. Their emotional health is damaged if you stay. Their ability to choose a healthy spouse is damaged if you stay. They've seen this rotten marriage. They've they've seen the abuse over and over, hundreds, thousands of times. They're not going to know what to do in choosing a good partner. Your girls will likely choose an abusive man to marry. That's the bad. I've seen this over and over, generational patterns. Your boys will likely be abusive husbands. Why? Because that's their dad. That's their model. You can't overstate the importance of the modeling of a dad. That's the first reason. She did it for her kids. Second reason, she says, I did it for my husband. Yeah, I agree. Because it was not loving him to enable him to continue abusing me. This gives this abuser his chance. It's the best one he's ever going to have in his life to make the changes. It's his only chance. Third, and of course, this it's kind of telling this comes last, but it's still very important. I did it for myself. Because if I went down one more time, I felt like I wouldn't be able to get back up. I wasn't even recognizing myself anymore. Listen to these words. This is where abusive wives live. I was drowning and feeling so beat down, despised, rejected. I felt like if I left, I would be giving up my last hope of someone loving me. Isn't that crazy that I was that insecure, that I thought that way, and that I would just be confirming the lie in my head that I'm failing all relationships, and that no one believes me, and no one loves me, and everyone thinks I'm crazy? That's how the mind goes when you stay long enough with an abuser. And by the way, just so you know, I have her permission to share uh, these portions of this. Of course, no identification. God does not want you to be destroyed. 
I told this lady, and I'm telling you, if you're in an abusive marriage, God wants you to li- to leave your abuser. I say that with 100% confidence. No, you don't have to. Uh, God's not going to make you. I'm not going to make you, but God wants you to. I believe that's true. So get my Enough is Enough book and get ready to leave. That, I believe, is the answer for you if you're in an abusive relationship.